Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back to all you amazing Framework Fortune community individuals. We are back with another God's Unchained card reveal from the new set. The dev team just revealed three cards on Twitter. So if you haven't seen it yet and it's your first time, hit that like button as I'm on top of things today. Hey. All right. Anyway, let's dive into these new reveals. Not from the core refresher set, but the new expansion set that is coming out within the next month. Similar to Divine Order, you will be able to buy packs. But I know you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first card we got is Valka's Four Guard. Another war card, and we have the Tempt Fate mechanic on this card as well. We saw it on the Nature uh, Puppy, the Volpine Collector. And now it is on a war card. This is a four mana and it is a rare 3-3 three, three with blitz. Blitz is always great to have. Plenty of blitz in war. I will always welcome more blitz. We still don't know what this Tempt of Fate is going to do. But looking at it at the moment, it's kind of underwhelming. Just like the other one. There's two four mana blitz creatures already in war the Viking Longship and the Archangel Bruiser and they both have higher attack which is what you need for Blitz. Because the card is underwhelming other than the Tempt Fate I'm just assuming Tempt Fate must be pretty good. So the next card we got is another war card the Headman's Axe or Headsman's Axe I should say Another God Blitz. This one is a Relic. Three mana, three attack. They do have a little bit of uh, the number kind of blacked out there. It looks like it's a two. Power four. And then you give plus four strength to this Relic. So in power four is another new term to the game. I cannot think of any card that has in power four. I've not not familiar with that so that's got to be a new phrasing or mechanic as well as the temp fate you know we can only guess if you guys have an idea what empower or temp fate might be you know leave it in the comments let me know uh, maybe if somebody gets it exactly right we'll do a giveaway who knows god blitz always strong uh, to me it looks like it's going to be a pretty strong relic that empower for I'm just going to assume. Well, actually, the way it has the colon here kind of insinuates maybe that empower is just a wording type of deal where it's saying empower four. Basically, you're giving four strength to this relic. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not anything at all except just a little text cleanup. And that's what they're going to start and calling it when you're buff, when cards buff other cards is empower. Hmm. We'll have to see. But either way, a three mana relic with God Blitz and the possibility to do up to seven strength. That's a pretty strong relic. So on to the next one. We have a death card. This one is an epic. You can tell by the purple diamonds. Blues are rares. Purples are epics. And this is a spell. Five mana, land of the dead. Really, really unique artwork there. But the power on Land of the Dead for Death Decks is really wild. So for five mana, you get to select up to six one mana Anubians from your void and summon them to the board. At five mana, you can fill your board with Anubians. Now, let's take a look at some of the one mana Anubians that we may be able to pull out. Okay, so here's our one mana Anubians. We have the Catacomb Curator. Roar Obliterate a card in your hand, Afterlife Draw a card. That card's not really that great. Uh, Princess of Priestess of Tag Hat, however, whenever another Anubian dies, deal two damage to your opponent's god. So there can definitely be some crazy combos with Land of the Dead, uh, possibly bringing back two priestesses at once along with four other Anubians. So if you can sack those four other Anubians, then you could deal direct damage to your opponent's god with the two priestess attack hats which would be four damage for each creature that live leaves the board so I definitely see uh, some nasty combos going with 
Land of the Dead and Priestess attack hat. The Raving Necromancer, when a Nubian dies, still win health from your opponent's god. So another pretty strong one. Both of those are two strength, two health. And then we have the Tome Torchbearer, which of course is 1-1-1, but protected. So, you know, kind of underwhelming for over here with the Catacomb Curator. But these three right here, I think... We'll see some type of shenanigans out of with some other Anubians. The Anubis Guide of Souls, six mana backline. Whenever a friendly Anubian dies, draw a card. Of course, five, six. So if you was to have Anubis out and you pulled the Land of the Dead to summon Anubians, you could also kill those Anubians, uh, sacrificing them, and draw a card for each one. So between Anubis... And the Priestess of Takat, Land of the Dead. Something there. So if you, you get to working on it, you get a copy of Land of the Dead, and you're working on a Nubian Death Deck, let me know how that combo works out in actual play. Because I'm just theorizing at the moment. But very interesting card for Death. Very strong card, I think, that we'll probably see some play in the Anubian Death Decks. It, I'd be hard not to run it. And then, of course, the other two... You know, until we find out what exactly these are showing, now it's kind of looking like a one there. Oh, I see. This actually is a one on Headsman's Axe. I had it moved where it's kind of over in a dark area. When I edited these images out, it took the one <laughs> directly out. It actually is one durability relic, so still very strong. I mean, if you're able to hit somebody with God Blitz 7 by 3 mana, that's very fast for those super quick aggro war decks but you know even with only one durability it's still pretty powerful and then we'll just have to find out about temp fate but that's all i got for you guys for now if any more cards are released or revealed i will be sure to get them up as soon as possible and let you guys know my thoughts on them appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there Till next time. This is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity.